Hello, welcome back to the channel. This is a program that's caused me no end of angst and um, I just wanted to talk about how if it doesn't work when say you um, update your network or reinstall a new router, um, where to look and what to do with SIM Connect. <music> Okay, so uh, SIM Connect can be a living nightmare to set up. It, um, it can be quite a fiddly program. What I want to talk about here is um, once you've got that set up and maybe you, um, you change your, um, your network hub or you change your router. In my case, I changed the router that will give you a different IP address and so you need to go in and reconfigure SIM connect or no pun intended it will not um, connect. <laughs> okay the first thing you need to do if you go into view show and make sure that you've ticked to show files and hidden folders otherwise you won't be able to see the folders that we're looking for. Documents folder is common to Microsoft Flight Simulator and to prepare. So we go into documents, just tab down and you'll see in there SIM Connect INI. And you just need to make sure you replace those X's with your new, your latest IP address. For prepared, we need to go into user first, your username, then pick app data. A roaming Lockheed Martin. and then your prepared uh, 3D. If you've got more than one version, then you'll only need to change that in both. And you'll find in there the SIM Connect XML uh, file. And in the middle, you will see it's a bit small on this um, video, but in, in the middle, you'll see uh, the IP address. So with Microsoft Flight Simulator again, user, your username, this time local. Packages, select the package that shows Microsoft Air Flight Simulator. There are some quite convoluted um, names for these folders. Then we're going to select the um, local cache and you'll see in there the SIM Connect XML as with prepared. And you simply need, as before, to update the line that shows the IP address. And each one of those, you need to change the IP address to the address of your main simulator PC. So two more things to do with a network PC. You simply need to go to the network PC documents folder and you'll see there SIM connect config and once again that needs to show uh, the address, the IP address of the main PC.
And last but not least, if you're running SPAD next across a network, this can be a bit tricky. So you need to go to the application settings under settings, simulations, and within the simulations folder, there will be a uh, configuration for SIM Connect support. And you just need to make sure you update um, the IP address in this box. You can test the connection once you've updated it, but you need to make sure you save the IP address first. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Um, if you liked it, please like it. Uh, subscribe if you want to be notified if other videos are uploaded and um, leave any comments. I love to hear from you and I always respond and I'll catch you next time.